Hey, good morning, everyone. This is uh, Pastor Chuck from Relevant Church, Inland Empire, here in the city of Fontana, California. Listen, I wanted to share with you a quick uh, devotional and some information regarding the COVID-19 stimulus package. Uh, first, uh, let me share with you um, a scripture from 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 1 through 5. It said, Now I, Paul, myself appeal to you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ. I am humble among you in person, but bold towards you when absent. I beg that when I'm present with you, I will not need to be bold with the confidence by which I plan to challenge certain people who think we are behaving according to the flesh. For although we live in the flesh, we do not wage war according to the flesh. Since the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but are powerful through God for the demolition of strongholds, we demolish arguments in every proud thing that is raised up against the knowledge of God, and we take every thought captive to obey Christ. Listen, I'm here um, in my kitchen at the kitchen table um, in quarantine like many of you are. Um, in agreement in agreement with the um, local authorities and public health officials. Um, so I just wanted to share with you this passage um, because this is Paul writing um, to the church in Corinth um, in the second epistle. Uh, and we know that oftentimes Paul wrote his letters while he was in prison. He was in kind of a quarantine type of situation and he was writing to um, other believers in churches that he helped to establish or, or participated in um, their growing. Uh, so for every pastor in um, America and perhaps around the world who may be um, in these quarantine situations, we, we all share in this same thing that Paul um, was feeling. We're missing our congregation. We're missing the people that we serve and minister to um, on a weekly basis. So he's talking here about taking every thought captive. Now we know that uh, with this virus, um, as deadly as the virus is, um, there's something even more dangerous, and that's the virus of fear. Um, it seems as though that fear may, may even be worse than the virus itself in some ways. I, I forget who it was that said it, but there's nothing to fear but fear itself. So uh, uh, there's a lot of fear uh, permeating throughout our society and throughout our culture uh, and we want to as believers we want to eliminate eliminate that and we want to alleviate that uh, we want to minimize that as much as possible because I see our weapons the weapons of our warfare the Bible said they're not carnal they're mighty for the pulling down of stronghold and fear is certainly a stronghold um, that can take place in our lives today uh, so we want to walk by faith and not by sight. We want to be uh, spiritually intelligent. Um, the same God that gives us faith, hope, and trust is the, the same God that gives us wisdom and discernment and knowledge. So we want to walk according to the knowledge that is available to us, but we also want to walk according to the Spirit of God. So we want to, I want to encourage you all to be mindful of the mandates that are going forth. Uh, this thing is serious. Take it seriously. Um, it, the, the day of foolishness is over regarding this virus. So we got to uh, take it seriously, quarantine yourself, self uh, be, you know, whatever the word is. Um, I can't find it right now, but, but stick with your family to what's most important uh, to you. Only go out when necessary uh, to take care of your essentials. Uh, and we'll all get through this thing um, just fine. Um, speaking of getting through it, I want to share with you all um, something that was shared to me. Some of you all uh, were on my Facebook page and were able to watch, watch in, do a watch party. Uh, a, a friend of mine, I, I called this brother friend because he is a, a, a wonderful friend, but he's on the other side of the country, uh, Pastor Eugene McCown. Uh, we have a work relationship and we have a, 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 a friendship as well. And I'm glad to call him friend, but it's church and uh, the, the CDC that they have, um, we serve Virginia is a is doing a great work in disseminating information 
regarding the COVID-19 stimulus package. Uh, I know you've heard um, all over the place, you've heard about the stimulus package. The government has released $2 trillion to help stem the, uh, the tide of this pandemic um, as it affects us financially, as people are being forced uh, to take less hours or out of work um, completely. Um, and there's much need out there. So um, thank, thank the Lord for our government responding in such a way and making this available. And I wanna thank uh, the Praise Center, Church of God in Christ, Pastor uh, Eugene McCown, uh, and the We, Sur uh, we Serve Virginia um, CDC there for sharing this information. Um, and so I took that information I wanna share with you. I, I did some, some of my own research and I wanna share that with you as well. So what I've done is I've created this uh, stimulus guide. I call it the COVID-19 stimulus package guide. So these are, it has some details in here as to what you can expect, how much money you may be receiving, what the conditions are on, on receiving um, that money. I believe um, if you are an individual taxpayer uh, making less than $75,000 a year, you'll receive uh, $1,200. If you are married and filing jointly um, and you together, you make less than $150,000 per year, um, you'll receive $2,400. And then for each independent child, uh, not independent, but dependent child uh, under the age of 16, I heard 16 and 17, somewhere about, I think it's 16. Um, if you have a dependent child that you claim on your taxes um, under 16, then you receive 500 per child. Um, so of course, that's, that, that's gonna be a tremendous boost for, for many of us um, who are struggling to make, to make ends meet and, um, the, the uncertainty that is there. So that's going to be a, a blessing to us. And, uh, and I heard that they may even do it a couple of times, depending on how this pandemic uh, continues to spread and run its course. Uh, but there's also some information on unemployment um, and how to receive um, those benefits. And uh, for me in particular, uh, I'm self-employed. I am a contract worker. So there's also um, uh, funds avail available through unemployment for uh, the, the small businessman or woman, uh, those who are self-employed or are independent contractors. So this goes, this thing spreads out to a lot of people as well. Uh, listen, I want to just mention this and then I'll give you the link. Uh, if you're on Social Security, um, this, these funds are available and from what I understand, they're going to just automatically um, make those funds available to you as well through the normal means that you use, utilize to receive your, so, your regular social security. Um, so there's a lot of great things on here. There's some links to some web pages, some videos uh, that you can look at as well. Listen, if you want to get a copy of this, um, I'm going to post the post the link, the direct link under this video, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube or wherever you're watching from a website. But um, if you want to find us, you, you can go to our website. Our church website is relevantfontana.com, relevantfontana.com. And there is a banner there for the uh, COVID-19 updates. Uh, you can click a button right there. It'll take you to a page full of information. And you want to look for the stimulus uh, PDF. And you can download it right there from our website. Listen, I want to encourage you all to keep your spirits high during this season. I want to encourage you that as you are social distancing uh, from people, um, that you get closer to God. This is a time that God has drawn, is calling us to come nearer and nearer to Him. So we want to make sure that we're taking full advantage of this opportunity um, to spend time with our Lord and Savior. Listen, real people, real God, real worship, be blessed.